In this video, I'm going to show you a free way of how you can find and analyze current trends on Redbubble, as well as how you can find the right keywords to get more traffic and sales for your listings. And I'm also going to show you how to look through the best selling products on Redbubble currently to find new design ideas and potential evergreen niches. The tool we're going to be using for this research is PODCS. This is their homepage, which will be linked in the description. And you can click this button right here to get started for free. Don't worry, all of the Red Bull research tools we're gonna to talk about today are included in the free plan without any limitations. As you can see right here, all of these three are ticked for the free version. The only uh, limitations with the free plan are some of the Merge for Amazon tools, as you can see. But yeah, lots of nice features in this tool and today we're gonna to be focusing on the Redbubble stuff. So once you've registered your free account and you've logged into the tool, this is the screen you will come to. You get some notes right here about recent updates on the top left hand side you then see that Etsy features coming soon which is very exciting and at the bottom you get a quick overview of the different features that PODCS has to offer as well as shortcut buttons if you press start it brings you to the individual tools but also if you hover over this sidebar on the left you can access the same tools as well over here as well as some extra ones like the trademark search social media holidays favorites that's definitely handy to note there's more to the tool than just these ones on the home page but let's get started with the Redbubble trends. So once you've opened up this trend section, you can see lots of different details about the current trending niches on Redbubble. So on the left hand side, we get the search term that is trending, and then you get the top three categories that are selling within that phrase. So uh, in this case, DB Cooper is 66% t-shirts and then followed by 26% stickers. That gives you an idea of what products to sell if you're entering a trend and you get an indicator right here of competition this one is uh, quite red. There's 2,695 products, so the competition is quite high for this trend. And uh, you want to basically be scrolling down and look for green bars in the middle. So this one says competition is low. And if we look over here, stray cat game, um, does that sound like it could be something trademarked? I'm not sure. Sometimes it helps hovering over this icon right here, which shows you the top 10 best sellers within that trend. And this one does seem like it could be something trademarked. Marked, uh, might be a, a games logo because all of these designs look exactly the same and Redbubble is filled with trademark infringement so uh, that's one to stay away from. What we can see um, right here for example is pure Texan. Very very low. That seems like a Texas related niche and there's only 358 results which sounds really good and also a lot of t-shirts and stickers are selling. Then what you can do is hover over these to just quickly check what sort of designs are selling and we can see there's lots of different ones so this doesn't seem to be some sort of brand's logo that people are ripping off if you want to get a closer look at the niche you can also click this little blue arrow over here because that will bring you to the Redbubble page with the actual trending phrase typed in scrolling down through this you get more of an idea of what sort of designs might be selling and whether this might be a niche that you are able to create designs for and want to enter obviously still check for trademarks before you go ahead because I don't know 100% for sure whether this is safe or not moving on to the the second page I can quickly see here at the top that uh, unique as a breakfast taco is another trend with very low competition only 528 results it's definitely not something that infringes on some sort of celebrity or movie so let's see what the best sellers look like obviously a lot of taco designs with that text attached to them and over here on the right you get some more features like the rating history if we click on that you can see if this is an emerging trend or one that is falling off and this one is definitely emerging it had a one star rating just recently and now it's jumped up to four and a half stars so this seems to be a new trend for some reason and if you um, want to investigate further in terms of trademarks you could use this trademark button over here you also can favorite the trend if you want to save it for later and it will then be saved over here in the sidebar in the favorite section so red bubble products you click that you can see all the trends you favorited you can also click the amazon icon and that will bring up the search results uh, for merch by Amazon t-shirts that are selling within this search phrase and you can click the Google logo that will bring you to obviously the Google search results for unique as a breakfast taco and that is going to help you figure out whether the search term might be related to a movie or a celebrity that sort of thing or a, a company logo. One really cool feature that uh, PODCS has is this big blue button over here. Just click that and it will bring up a very detailed page of different information to do with 
this trending niche. For example, you get the related tags over here, which are ranked by popularity, meaning how many listings within the top sellers are using these trends, because you will obviously want to use the sort of tags that are within the top sellers to get more sales and traffic with your designs. And you can quickly copy all of these, or you could select individual ones if you wanted to, just tick them over here on the side, and then just copy those. Or to make life easier, you could just click copy top 15 and then paste them into your repub listing straight away or obviously save them for later in your notepad or something on your PC. Over here on the right, we get competing shops. I think this only shows the competing shops on the first page of Redbubble. Um, so you got 39 and it lists the names. You could also open these up and investigate their shops further uh, for maybe their other best selling designs. And you get competitive products. So that means how many actual individual products these shops have listed within this niche trend. And if we scroll down a bit further, you get the average price over here on the left for each product within this niche. So if you want to, for example, offer a better price for t-shirts, you could look at that over here in the table and then maybe price you a bit lower to have an advantage over your competitors. And on the right hand side, a very cool feature is the popular color graph, which shows that most of the products within this trend uh, in the search results have a black sort of background or black product selected. And the second most favorite color or most used one is white. All of the other colors are just quite muted and not really used a lot. An idea here of how to stand out in the search results would be to maybe design a red t-shirt and that way amongst all these black and white t-shirts you're going to stand out and because all the other thumbnails are just a bit boring next to the red one. So moving on from the trends tool heading over to the sidebar we can access the Redbubble tag generator and to use this you have to provide a seed keyword at the top left right here. I'm just going to type in taco just so we get some extra keywords for the overall taco niche and obviously if you hit search it will bring up after a bit of loading the most popular tags related to your seed keyword so these keywords are ordered by the most popular ones at the top you can see how many times they've been used on the right hand side and you can once again go ahead and tick these ones and just select the uh, sort of ones that look most relevant to you obviously going top to bottom for the best results in terms of traffic and sales because we want to be using the keywords that are most commonly used among the top sellers and once you're done selecting all your keywords. I think I'll just have to hide my actual camera. You can then come up to the top right corner and copy them. Or if you wanted to copy all keywords in one go, just click the yellow button over here. This tool is also extremely useful for finding keywords for your evergreen niches. So it's not just for trends. I, for example, have typed in gaming right here and you get lots of ideas of popular tags or keywords within the gaming niche that you could then enter into your listings, into your title description, and obviously tags on Redbubble. Next up, I'm going to head over to the Redbubble ranks feature. This shows the current top 5,400 products on Redbubble in terms of best sellers. So this one in rank number one is literally the best selling product on Redbubble right now. It is updated very regularly, which you can see, if I hide myself up here, last update 30th of July, and that is the date I'm recording this video. Then you also get a change indicator over here, which shows you how many, uh, spots this product has jumped in comparison to the last time the tool was refreshed. So uh, these top three sellers have stayed the same because of the equal symbol. This one, for example, has jumped nine places to the top, whereas this design has a new badge, meaning it is the first time that it is within the top 5,000 top sellers, which is obviously a really good way to identify newer best sellers and newer trends. Another really handy thing you can do in here is you can click the tags button, which brings up the most popular popular tags within this design. And you can then delete some of them if you don't want to have them included when you copy them and then go ahead and copy all. Over here on the right hand side, we also get a graph of the history uh, in terms of ranking for these best sellers. These all seem to be very consistent. But we are only on the first page. So um, you would expect some of these products to be consistent top sellers on Redbubble. You can also once again favorite these products over here by clicking the heart symbol if you want to save them 
for later. I, for example, quite like this one right here. So I'm going to favorite it. It's an abduction sticker and you once again get the tags right here, which is really cool. If we open it up by clicking the blue arrow right here, you can see the actual design. The way you could use this for inspiration is just create this design and place lots of different animals within the UFO's light or beam, whatever you want to call it. You could put a cat there and say meow or just whatever else you can think of in terms of animals. And that way you might create some really well selling stickers for Redbubble or just general nice evergreen designs. One more design that I found while looking through the best sellers that I wanted to show you is this one right here, which has lightsabers with the pride colors. And it kind of looks like a flag as well. And I'm not telling you to sell Star Wars designs. <laughs> That's not the, the intention here. It's just to show you that you can cross niche the pride theme with uh, different hobbies by creating a flag, for example, and then having, instead of these colors, you can put different items on there. So for example, golf clubs or baseball clubs would work. Just change the color to the, the pride ones. And that way you've cross niche a popular topic with a hobby, because if it works for this Star Wars niche, it will also work for other big popular niches um, to cross in this certain way. And that's how you want to go about using this feature. It's just scrolling through these top sellers on Redbubble to try and find new design ideas or niches and uh, to just get a general idea of what sells really well on Redbubble. Because if this is a place or a platform that you're focusing on, then uh, you want to obviously match that sort of best seller theme or style. You also quickly notice that a lot of the products that you see right here in the thumbnails are actually stickers, um, which is one of the most popular products on Redbubble. I probably sell mostly t-shirts and stickers as well. A lot of these top selling stickers look like this, where there's multiple ones in one. So there's four cat faces right here. People sort of get more value for their money in a sense. There's another example, space cats, that looks really nice. So that might be an idea of how to try and enter some of these niches if you are uh, focusing on Redbubble is to design stickers with multiple illustrations. If you also sell t-shirts on Amazon Merch, then you'll definitely benefit from watching this video next, where I show you how to use PODCS to find trends and bestsellers on Amazon.